Okay, so welcome back to the channel again. Um, time for another video. Today we have an unboxing, and just as I pull said box up, here's the fit pick um, for the day. So as you can see um, from the shoes beside me and the shoes I have on, um, today's a white cement day. So I had the white cement threes on, um, the oak zero blood shorts, white zero twenty one T, um, and Toronto Blue Jays uh, fitted from New Era in the kind of greeny, um, greeny yellowy color. So this is a dub from WSS store. There's their bag. They never really even considered them before winning this raffle. Got the text, I want to say on Thursday, um, responded and my pair was reserved. So I just drove down there, shoot an image up here of the journey. It was a fair mission because I actually selected the wrong store. There's one about half that distance from me. Um, and then I couldn't change it, but lesson learned for next time. It was a nice little drive. So, throw this out of the way. Yep, there's a receipt in there. So, you can probably tell what this box is now from the aging. Um, and I will do a comparison with um, with the lost and found aging uh, um, as well. So, actually, I'm going to shoot some B-roll up um, just while I talk, um, just to and a quick 30 second piece of just like my morning um, and just say so while that's running um, yeah so on the way back um, both me and my girl went in for a secondary pair um, on sneakers because um, I knew I'd be driving so I couldn't really kind of shop on regular sites um, they always sell out anyway um, and um, yeah we've got to double up basically so um, now the b-roll is done um, I just found this hilarious. So this is what happened on my account. This is what happened on her account. My account, I have interacted with every single piece of content white, white cement related in the, the month or so since um, since they went up. She's not opened this app since Lost and Found, which she also hit on, by the way, for me. Um, so not a complaint. I mean, it's amazing. Um, I get a double up. Um, but it's just crazy the way, like the interaction with content just means absolutely nothing. Um, so yeah, um, just yeah, thought that was interesting. So yeah, as I said, aged box, um, even comes with aging on the inside. There's been a million and one YouTube videos, so I doubt it's anything new to you guys. The same paper we got with the flight reds, it's paper, not card, but it's a nice touch. Um, and then the box tissue paper. Just gonna get both sides out. So I probably mentioned before on the channel, but the white cement three is my favorite sneaker of all time. Um, and it's one of the reasons why I wanted to double um, because two pairs I have to the side of me, which I'll go through in a second, but neither of them have particularly good shape. So, and I, and, and I know this is 2020 onwards shape, so they're gonna be, they're gonna be amazing. Um, and I'm also a big fan of the aging that, that Jordan Brand are doing, so. So yeah, the aging on this pair in particular, it basically mainly occurs um, here on the midsole. As you can see, it's like a, a sail rather than white. Oh. Let me make sure that the colorway name is actually Summit White, Fire Red, Black. Okay, so it doesn't actually reference on the on the box what that color is, but you can definitely see, hopefully the lighting is working. And this whole midsole, same on the inside. The midsole's creamed. The rubber piece at the front is white. That's that Summit White. The top three eyelets are all cream as well. And then, the booty shot is also creamed out as well. Um, they come with the OG ham tag with this little um, plastic thing attaching it. And like every all the other ones, they come with the rolled back tongue, which I love. I love, love, love that. Um, so yeah, um, quick point before we kind of go any further. I've seen a lot of people back and forth on sizing. Um, in 
uh, on YouTube and saying that because this is so much more thin now, um, you should go down half a size. I ignored that because um, I was like, well, all the new pairs are, are thin um, and I didn't half size down in any of those. I'm going to insert some imagery with them on foot here side by side with the with the um, red uh, fire red probably the most recent shoe that like, a lot of Jordan 3 fans are going to have just to put it to rest because I did go TTS and I was advised by some people TTS and some people down half a size as I'm shooting this I obviously don't know whether I should have or not um, so we'll see but my fire reds TTS um, and they fit perfectly so uh, hence the reason for the side by side um, I will also get the fire reds out in a sec, but this does actually feel more slim than any of the other ones that we've seen. So maybe it was something I should have done. Okay, so I'm just going to get this side out of the way for a sec. Um, yeah, and then we're going to compare versus the 2013 um, dunk contest. Jordan 3, and then the 2018 Super Bowl JTH um, White Cement. So these are the three that I have. If I put them all lined up against the back here, just looking down, there does not look like any size discrepancy in terms of the length. You can see the three um, but back, the, the backs, this font here has always been something that I thought was a bit weird. Like it's it's kind of almost like these two are bold and this one's regular writing. Didn't really get that. But you can see the difference. These two, I think, are much more comparable. But obviously the, this one has the aging um, color. If I turn them round. You can, the stri most striking difference for me is this lack of red here, which I love. Um, yeah, it's just, it's just the sign that they're much more rolled rolled back, essentially, and sleek. Um, this might be a bit tricky trying to hold all three of these up like this, but I'm going to give you that kind of like top-down shot so you can just see the difference in the collar thickness. The middle pair is so much thinner um, and sleeker than any of the other ones. Um, lots of parts of them are exactly the same. Oh, the elef elephant print. So let's look at all three of these. Just going to focus on the print on the toe. What you can see here, and again, it goes to 13. Just a minute ago, it switched the other way. Very dark, much lighter, and then very dark again. I think these are actually more dark than the 13s, yeah. Um, but they've kind of gone back and forth. They finally fixed it with the Fire Red last year. Um, and I'm happy to see that this looks a lot like the original um yeah i did see a picture of a 1988 pair that was taken recently and it looked bang onto this i'll shoot it up there it does look bang onto this i think it was a wear testers thing um oh and a comparison to the hang tag you saw this earlier so this is the jth one in the comparison this one obviously has 13 pair field signature on it as well a huge difference there um, and then the pair that the hang tag that comes with these it's somewhere in the in, in my room in my laces box um, but it looks like this but it's like Nike orange and just has a big jump man and no Hatfield signature um, so yeah the the insoles on these and the back of the tongue is both like special edition this one's the Justin Timberlake signature the other side has Tinker Hatfield across here so kind of just move that to the side a sec um, and just compare these two because these are both, both OG renditions. Um, yeah, one of the big differences here that people talked about a lot is that back in 2013, this was the first Nike Air pair. For some reason, they stuck Jordan on the bottom, even though the rest of the shoe is Nike Air branded. And thank God, this time um, they have gone with the Nike, um, or the Nike, also aged on the on the outsole. Um, both of the insoles look very similar. Nike Air, Nike Air. As you can see, I've put some tape on my 2013s because I hate when it peels off. Um, some people hate that, but I hate it more. I hate it less than when it peels off. Um, so yeah, that's the 
um, the insole is the one that comes out and not the one that's stuck down. That makes my life a bit easier there. Um, but yeah, that's kind of like the, I guess, the, the comparison. Um, yeah, that, that difference in elephant print is, is, um, is huge. Um, yeah, I'm going to pop this off to the side as well. Actually, I'm going to just get rid of both of these pairs out of the way. Um, there's been a lot of QC issue talk. Um, I gave mine a once over in the store. They had a second 12, I could see it behind the counter, so I was ready to to ask for to look at that one if mine was bad. Um, but I would say the elephant print is pretty, like matches up pretty well. It's pretty good. The shape's good. Both of the back tabs are super straight. Um, there's nothing where like the elephant print super jacked up. There's no divots in the elephant print at all. Um, yeah, I'd say I got a nine to a nine and a half out of ten um, on that. Um, yeah, so let's compare this to the Lost and Founds. So just off the bat. They did put more of a story in on the Lost and Founds, you know, the whole like sandy sandy bros. But I'll just kind of compare the areas that make sense to it. I think they've used the same machinery, the same approach for the two distressing on the boxes. So this had the sandy bros in. Also had special edition uh, paper inside. So they definitely went more to town on these. Um, as you can see here. That aging on the midsole is like very, very similar. Pretty cool. It, it, and what I really, really love about this, oh, there's marks on the back here, is that they ba basically they did the reimagined on my two favorite Jordans. Um, so for me, this whole like reimagined project couldn't be done better. Um, um, yeah, it's basically my number one and number two Jordans. Um, so for me that's amazing. Um, if they were doing the white cement 4 next and not the black cement 4 then that run would basically just continue. And so yeah, that's a nice brief quick comparison. And then the other thing I am going to do, put this one away a sec, I'm just going to compare all four of the most recent OGs that we have. So 2023 white cement. Twenty sixteen true blue. Twenty eighteen black cement. actually still BS. And what I'm doing here, there, there we go, in the middle of the things. So it's great that we have all, um, all four of them now. Um, one thing I would say, all four with a proper like yeah on the back which is amazing um what you'll see here if i hold them up to do that same um collar like down top down view hugely puffy on the true blues super super sleek on the white cement super super sleek on the fire red super super bulky on the black cement so they really do need to fix those two older pairs and i'm hoping we get either this og rendition or this reimagined um stuff on both of these pairs as soon as possible um but yeah that's about it for me really um 
just compare the size of these two. I don't know if you can see from here, but I look bang on. Um, so yeah, I will, as I said, take some pics for sizing um, once I've had a chance. Cool. Um, another video really enjoyed making. Hopefully you've enjoyed watching it. That's it from me. Over and out.